KO, right, so that's the end of day three. Um, it's been a fairly lazy day today for Tim, I think, although he does appear to have come up with a few more strategies for trying to actually deal with stuff. Um, today he pretended that the camera, mainly the one when he's lying down above his head, was different people that were important to him. He went through a few, there was quite a lot of talking to Haley today, uh, explaining stuff to him, pressures, stuff that was quite personal to him, so it was quite interesting to hear. But he also had quite a long conversation with a friend from when he was a child called Lucy Stubbs. Um, so that was quite interesting, they were talking about things like hedge hopping, and he mentioned quite a few places that were relevant to them. Uh, I made a note of them, um, so there was Scarborough Golf Course, there was Claremont Hospital, um, Yes, and that seems to really be helping him in a way of, sort of dealing with things, to be able to sort of pass the time and feel like he's having a one-to-one -one conversation with someone rather than being in the box all by himself. Um, oh, another one. He went well, He went to the toilet today. So I think he'll probably be feeling a lot better for that because that's something that's been playing on his mind quite heavily. So all in all, he should be feeling slightly more relaxed. Um, we heard quite a lot more of Tim's harebrained schemes today, as if he was some kind of 14 or 15 year old. You'd never guess he was in his mid-30s. I think someone should probably remind him, talking about definite ways to get girls to drop their drawers and things like that. And again, called spot the spot, oh, spot the bell end or something like that. Something not very pleasant in any case. Um, but yeah, he had a few chats. He also spoke to an old friend of his. Jezza, or as we would probably know him, Jeremy Kyle today, tried to sort of put a few things to rest as there had been a bit of unease between them, so that was quite an interesting one to listen to. But as again, as I'd said, he did also go back today to talking about um, what Haley had said to him, about how she knew him better than he knew himself and that he wouldn't be able to do it. He spoke about that again today. He spent quite a lot of time talking to Haley today explaining things that were obviously quite playing on his mind to do with sort of pressures of support and family and pressures that he felt over sort of favouritism of the girls and things like that and you know how he'd always felt that even when he'd been fired from jobs all over the place. He spoke a lot about BRMB, BRMB today, uh, radio in Birmingham so that might have been some use. Um, he spoke about stink bomb, right Tim always used to do this mental thing of stink bombing places. It was mortifying to be around when he decided he was going to do this. He did it in escalators, train stations, anywhere you want, restaurants. Horrific. And these things smell horrific. He mentioned today doing it in a quite well-known London club, so I don't know if that's any use. Um, but yeah, that was kind of pretty much it today. He was a lot more chilled. I was a lot happier watching him doing what he was doing today. It didn't make me feel massively uneasy, which was good. Um, so I hope any of that's been of use, just a few notes I've made. Tomorrow, the clue that I've got is that it's something alive that he will probably kill. Something alive that he will probably kill. So, I mean, that could well be his state of mind, but um, I don't know. So good luck with that, I hope it's been of some help, and see you tomorrow for day four. Night.